With the game being out for 20 days, the developers are already planning on the first big update. In today's video, I'm gonna cover new tools, bags and items coming in this next major update. So the first thing that I'm gonna cover are items and first off we have the Moonlight Candy and the Solar Candy. The Moonlight Candy seems to boost stats at night but the Solar Candy seems to give conversion buffs. The candies can also be seen as a popular crafting ingredient for the new items that I'll be covering later. These candies are gonna be able to be crafted in the bakery using lunar fragments and the solar shards. Next up we have the yellow iced treat. This treat will half the breeding time just like the white iced treat takes away 5 minutes of breeding time. You're probably gonna be able to craft them with the yellow mushrooms which are most likely gonna be obtained in the yellow fungus field. Now let's check out the new backpacks. The first backpack is the crystal leaf which costs 50 million honey and 75 roll jelly as well as 5 infused roll jelly. The backpack holds 1.25 million nectar. The next backpack is the philosopher's stone which costs 175 million honey and 25 red mushrooms, 25 glow mushrooms as well as 100 roll jelly and 10 infused roll jelly. The backpack holds 3 million nectar. The next backpacks, yes, two of them, are the solar storage and the lunar locker. They are the most expensive items in the game, costing 375 million honey each, as well as some of the new candy, 15 infused roll jelly, and 10 colorful iced treats. These backpacks are gonna give a known boost at day and night time. The backpacks hold 4.25 million nectar each. Next up, we have the new tool. The first tool is the emerald spoon, which costs 15 million honey, but doesn't cost any materials. The next tool is the magical staff that costs 75 million as well as 25 corrupt honey and 5 infused royal jelly. The next tools are the solar staff and the lunar wand. They each cost 250 million honey and a lot of materials like some candy fragments, infused jelly and corrupt honey. That's all for the new stuff but there's also a leak for a thing called mutations. We don't know about anything them yet, we just know how the button looks. Mutations might not be coming out in the next up. Lastly, we have the new builder butterfly that is gonna have 25 repeatable quests, a small shop with a watering can, boots, and an upgrade station that you can upgrade the rarity of a tool by combining two of the same item. That will be all for the new stuff. There might have been a couple things that I missed, but they are pretty minor like game passes, watering cans, and boots. For now, here's the exotic butterflies quest that I didn't have enough time to claim the last episode, so here it is now. So I just finished the wonderful white, let's claim it. Fantabulous. That must have taken a while, but you powdered through and finished it. Here's another nectar value boost, plus 12%. And have another mystical jelly, after that you deserve it. Hopefully you get a good bee. Well, that's it for now. Come back again later when I have more quests. And that's the end of Exotic Butterfly.